Dear first years, I'm delighted to welcome you to the Faculty of Arts and Design, which you have chosen as the place to start your career in education, communication or the creative industries. But first I must start by congratulating you on successfully completing your grade 12 and making it this far. We all know that the world has been turned upside down for the last two years and learners and students, their parents, guardians, teachers and lecturers have grappled with how to achieve success under such difficult circumstances. Your matric results are the outcome of this massive personal and collective effort and a sign that you have it within you to successfully start and finish your studies. Along with welcoming you today, I would like to emphasize how important it is for you to always persevere, remain hopeful, actively celebrate the smallest of successes to drown out the voices of doubt, and to never regard a setback, no matter how severe, as the end of the story. It is a part of the story, but not the end. I'm here to also share that successful people are those people who learn from setbacks and then proceed from there with their eyes on the goal. They don't allow setbacks to haunt them and prevent them from trying again. Yes, it's very normal to feel discouraged for a while, but this feeling is not the end. It passes and then we must continue. This is true success and if you remember only one thing about my welcome today, I want you to remember and internalize this message. That setbacks are part of each and every successful person's journey. And that if, if you can overcome your own anxiety and disappointment about a setback and never allow the setback to define you, you are already successful. Added to this, we all need extra tools to manage our feelings of being overwhelmed and all students have access to free counseling and advice. Knowing how to cope is a skill like any other, and we all need to upskill on this important ability from time to time. Having spoken about your challenges, which will inevitably crop up, be they academic or personal, I also want you to know that I am excited on your behalf. Being a student is one of life's greatest privileges, not only for the education and skills you have access to, but also for the enrichment of getting to know classmates lecturers, experts in industry. These interactions will change you forever. You will be exposed to different viewpoints, different ways of doing things, thinking about things, reacting to things, and this is priceless. As intangible as this enrichment is, next to the knowledge and skills your education will afford you, this broader view of life is what differentiates a graduate and enables her or him to become a critical citizen and a productive game changer in her or his immediate environment, city, province, country, and globally. Yes, this sounds ambitious, but today marks the first step on that great journey of becoming all you can be, and thereby helping your community and society become all it can be. It is for this reason that I am excited for you and I feel privileged to be part of your journey. During this orientation, you'll be informed of the student services available to you. Please reach out when you feel you need assistance. Also, please be attentive about the information you will be receiving. It may help you later or help you help a classmate. Our Faculty of Arts and Design is home to over 2,000 students from undergraduate to doctoral level. We are a diverse and vibrant faculty with seven departments, namely the School of Education, the Department of Media, Language and Communication, and then the five creative departments, namely the Department of Drama and Production Studies, the Department of Fashion and Textiles, the Department of Fine Arts and Jewelry Design, the Department of Video Technology, and lastly, the Department of Visual Communication Design. As a contemporary faculty, we are a team of energized creative thinkers. All our students are encouraged to create, engage and innovate and are exposed to entrepreneurial training and opportunities and international exposure. We have an established reputation of producing artists of both national and international reputation. 
while the entrepreneurial and venturesome become self-employed and invariably become creators of employment for others. Our annual Entrepreneurship Week hosts graduates who have made it in their respective fields and who have a vast range of experience and advice to dispense. The faculty hosts the Center um, called Arts for Humanity, which has a global network of artists, makers and thought leaders. We also host the annual DigiFest, a unique online arts and design festival with an international footprint. The School of Education, the Department of Media, Language and Communication and the Creative Departments host national and international conferences on key topics and research is being done that contributes to a local and global expansion of knowledge and insight. Maybe you will be one of those international researchers soon. We are proud to say that the Faculty of Arts and Design excels in training students to unlock their expressive and artistic talents the critical thinking skills and the knowledge they need in order to play a crucial role in the fields of education, journalism and the creative industries. Across these humanities, our philosophy is one of co-creating the future with our students. Because of this, my approach is, if you succeed, I succeed. I take your success personally and pledge to do whatever I can do to contribute to that success. In closing, I invite you to explore and concretize your full potential, which only happens when you believe in yourself and value your own talent. I want you to regard the faculty as your second home that is focused on helping you to succeed. I want you to be resilient, despite all the difficulties we face in society and as individuals. This resilience will carry you through your studies and through the rest of your life. Today marks the beginning of a significant journey for you. Over the next few years, you will be required to work hard, be dedicated and resilient, arm yourself with knowledge, overcome your setbacks, and emerge as a pillar in your community and society. I wish you every good fortune in this significant milestone, the start of the next phase of your life. Welcome and thank you.